Most chemical plants have many thousands of possible emission sources and care is necessary to ensure that emissions monitoring and repair activity is focused carefully at the areas where most cost-effective benefit can be obtained. In chemical plants, the three main components that influence overall plant fugitive emissions are normally flange joints, valve glands and pump seals. Flanged joints are static. That is, once the seal is made, there's no requirement for the component parts to be able to move relative to each other. A number of features have been identified as important in ensuring leak-free flanged joints. Correct joint design and calculation of the load required to seal the joint. Correct gasket selection. Correct assembly of components in good condition. Correct application of the design load to achieve the specified compression of the gasket. Correct alignment of the flanges. If these key directives are followed, your joint should pass the soapy bubble test and produce emission levels well below the suggested leak threshold of 500 parts per million. A valve gland joint is a compressed joint assembly in which a seal is achieved between the static component of the valve, the valve stuffing box, and the shaft that connects the valve hand wheel to the component that controls the flow of the process fluid. The valve gland joint is a static joint, but there is a requirement for the components of the joint to be able to move relative to each other when the valve is operated. For instance, if the valve is only opened or closed at plant shutdown or startup, or a routine or continuous requirement for an automatic valve used to control process fluid flow rates. The compression assembly must not be overloaded to a point where operation of the valve is not possible. The sealing material is the gland packing, which is compressed as the bolt is loaded. For valves fitted with appropriate graphite-based structured or braided packings, emissions performance at below 500 ppm is achievable, but for a significant percentage of such valves, performance deteriorates with time. The leak can often be reduced by retightening the valve gland assembly. This approach is successful for approximately 50 to 75% of leaking valves with others having to be repacked to re-establish leak-free performance at below the specified 500 ppm. Only routine LDAR programs can monitor leaks effectively. A pump seal is a loaded seal between a rotating pump shaft and a pump seal housing. The pump seal is a dynamic seal, that is, the seal is between a static component and a pump shaft that is in continuous motion. Pump seals are highly engineered assemblies and they range from single seals to double seal assemblies with pressurized barrier fluids. Most double seal assemblies either prevent emissions to atmosphere of process fluids or allow for any process fluid losses to be vented to a flare system. Testing shows that emissions from single seals are often at levels higher than 500 parts per million. Overhauling pump seal systems and replacing the seal components does not always improve performance. Fitting double seal systems is expensive and can reduce the mechanical reliability of the pump, but in many cases this is the only approach that can be relied upon to produce emission-free performance. Remember that properly made flange joints do not leak. The best practices that we've outlined in the program play a key role in making sure our plants remain safe and will help us avoid leaks that could have serious consequences for all of us.